Over the past one year or so, I have been uh, posting solutions to different uh, lead code problems, and uh, many people have liked that. So, uh, based on uh, some request, I thought that I would make a video on how to use the lead code platform effectively for coding interview preparation. So, let's see what we will be covering in this video. So, first we will uh, go through this uh, lead code platform. We will see what are the different features. Then uh, I will post a slide where we will see uh, the difficulty level of different questions being asked in uh, top software companies. So that should be helpful for us in making our decision which questions should we focus. And then uh, we will look at some of the uh, guidelines which we should follow to make effective use of the platform. So first let's go through the platform itself. So this is a typical uh, lead code platform you must be familiar with this since you all are using it so uh, if you see there are problems and problems interview contest and other sections so if you go to problems you will see the list of problems all the problems and uh, You can sort these based on different criteria, based on serial number or difficulty level or different filters we will, which we will talk shortly. So uh, if you see my uh, uh, dashboard, you see that I have solved roughly 232 problems. And uh, if you see the difficulty distribution, I have solved just 16 hard problems. Most of them are medium problems and some easy problems also. So uh, in order to make effective use of this, one is that uh, you should uh, try to solve these daily challenges which are coming. So this uh, helps you uh, solve one problem at least each day. So these are generally very good problems. I have seen them. So mostly they pick some good problems. I myself am guilty of not solving these daily. But these questions are good questions picked by the lead code team so you should try to do as many of them as you can then you see there are algorithms database and other questions and there are many other sections which we will come later so now that uh, i will assume that you know the lead code platform very well let's see uh, the difficulty level of different questions at major software companies so these are again based on the data available in lead code so if you look at Google, uh, roughly 25% of them are easy questions, 51% are medium problems and the remaining you can think of as hard. So if you consider these two, they together are roughly 76%. Similarly for Facebook, 24-57, if you sum them, it will be roughly 81%. And these can be vary over time. Amazon similar figure 80 percent same here uh, 82 percent for Microsoft Adobe also similar even more than that uh, so they are uh, asking difficult questions very rarely similarly if you look at Apple it's 83 percent then LinkedIn similar figure 83 and so on so if you solve easy and medium questions you are 80 percent likely of getting an easy or medium problem in the interviews so you cannot ignore these it's uh, not recommended that you are new to lead code and you start solving hard problems you will get stuck there for days you will waste your time you will get demotivated so if you are starting on lead code platform i would recommend that you start with a bunch of easy problems so these will not only uh, give you enough practice, confidence and a speed that you need in the beginning, but it will also help you recollect the basic language constructs. For example, one thing I always tell is that when I started preparing for interviews last year, uh, although I have a very uh, quite a few years of experience in C++ programming, I still when I started solving problems, I forgot basic STL functions for different containers and you can imagine uh, STLs are kind of bread and butter for solving these problems for example if you want to use 
hash map you want to use a hash set you want to use unordered map or anything these are all already implemented in stl and you have to use these similarly for uh, other languages like java where you can use the collections so you should be familiar with those so these easy problems will help you again fluency with these also so these are very 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 important so uh, solve at least uh, 30 40 easy problems for a few days maybe 5 6 days and in between also you can start attempting some medium problems and then slowly you should completely move to medium problems for uh, some time and then occasionally solve hard problems and if you are stuck at hard problems then you should not remain there for a long time the whole day you should not waste that you should use different forums either its free solution is provided on lead code or if you have premium membership most likely uh, you will have some solution there otherwise you can use discussion forums which we will talk later so this was just to give you an idea that don't ignore easy and medium problems those are the building block of all these interviews so roughly 20 to 30 percent easy problems uh, 50 to 60 or 65 percent medium problems and remaining 10 to 20 percent harder problems now that we have a fair idea of this and this uh, is not specific to these companies this is trend in general you list other software companies here and it will fall in similar track in fact level of difficulty may further decrease now let's look at some of the guidelines which i want to discuss so first is use filters there are lots of filters in lead code you have to use them effectively so let's go back to this uh, lead code platform and you see straight away you can see some filter difficulty so let's say i want to solve medium problems so this will be sorted in that now you want to solve hard problems so these are basic filters then uh, these are some curated lists like uh, curated algorithm questions SQL or top 100 light questions so you can use these filters and uh, then uh, you can also uh, filter based on this topic so you have to practice each and every topic so uh, if you are let's say planning for five problems every day it should not be that you like uh, hash table problems very much so you are solving all those hash ta table problems and then later if you uh, fail you will say that I did follow that routine I did solve five problems every day still I could not solve the problem in interview then the problem is that you are targeting some specific areas your favorite areas and you are not touching your other areas so you should not do that so this filter will help you in uh, filtering problems based on different topics so these are very important then uh, again this daily challenge filter then top 100 questions are there somewhere top 100 liked questions top interview questions these are other filters so make uh, good use of that now the next tip is that pick good problems so this is very subjective how do we define a good problem then uh, we can uh, decide the goodness of a problem based on certain criteria this is again very subjective but still if you see the platform let's pick any problem let's say maximal rectangle and uh, if you see there there are 4305 likes and just 88 dislikes so you can consider it as a good problem sometimes you will uh, see uh, not very likely but there are many cases I have personally seen some problems where this number seems to be opposite just like let's say 100 people have liked it and maybe 1500 people have disliked it so most common reason I saw in those problems was that it was not clearly explained the problem statement and it was uh, a tough time for readers to figure out what is exactly wanted in the problem so we had to see across different examples then try to write the code uh, make some uh, uh, unaccepted submissions then after some failure we get to know what exactly was the problem so try to avoid those kind of problems you will just uh, waste your time I'm saying that because uh, there are more than 
if you see here problems there are i think more than 1800 problems on this platform so most likely you will not solve each of them so you have enough number of problems you can skip bad problems so uh, try to see that parameter and let's say uh, if you are targeting eg problems and you are just beginning then even in eg you can pick problems which have higher acceptance rates i don't know how this is more than 100 percent but it should be less than 100 percent at least As there is some issue here but if you see these have higher uh, acceptance rates and in some problems you will have lower acceptance rates even in easier problems so you see these problems these are hard but their acceptance rate is very low so you can use these filters also and again difficulty and other things and uh, if uh, uh, you have premium lead code membership you can also see the companies in which these were asked so you can use that extra filter so i would recommend you to pick good problems and not waste your time in solving each and every problem next you have to work out corner cases or all the cases before making a submission or testing your code so here you have a feature for testing and uh, submitting to check whether all the test cases passed or not but in actual interviews most likely if you are going face to face though not very likely in this covid situation but even in covid situation you will be shared a google doc with you you will be writing here that will be just plain doc no I I editor features no id features you cannot test your code like this so uh, you should make a habit of coming up with all the cases before starting to write your code so that when interviewer ask you are you done and uh, you have a habit of just writing some working code and and testing it or submitting it and if you get wrong you come and modify what cases failed and you change your code accordingly so on the lead code platform you will see that i have uh, successfully submitted 100 problems but if you see in those 100 in out of those 180 cases you submitted and you failed so that should not be the habit because once interviewer ask you are you done you say yes and then he will start pointing will it work for this case you will say no 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 i missed that case then you go back again he says oh will it work for this case and again it will you will come back and modify your code so if you do such five six iterations clearly it will go against you that you are not a good coder so you inculcate the habit of submitting and testing only when you are sure that you have covered all the cases or most of the cases you can think of so that is very very crucial so this is a habit and habits do not come in one or two problems it's built over time habits are uh, just like cobwebs and then cape builds so uh, another tip is that you should target weak areas so one example i was giving that if you like hash tables it's not that you will always solve hash table problems so if you have let's say you are uh, uh, you are weak in graph theory you are weak in uh, string search problems but you are never solving those problems and uh, let's say you go to an interview you have cleared a few rounds but in the next round you got a string search problem and now you will panic it's already your weak area you know that but still you ignored it and now you have that same problem and you will panic and you uh, even uh, whatever was your capacity to solve that problem you will perform below that so you will underperform in those situations due to interview panic so uh, you should solve even more problems from your weak areas then you will start liking those i myself once uh, a few years back i was afraid of solving a string search problems then i started from basics i started with basic tries then moved to uh, suffix trees and and then solve multiple problems and then it seemed i became very comfortable there so you should not be afraid to solve your weak areas because fear can lead to failure so fear is why you fail then uh, you should solve the top interview questions from lead code so there are i think uh, around 100 questions with that filter and uh, if you have some time for your interview face to face interview or any programming round 
then you should solve most pro most of those problems those are very important and picked based on their occurrence in different interviews then uh, as i said use discussion tab effectively so if you go to any problem uh, let's say i pick uh, this problem so you see there is no solution here now you are stuck but you don't have any solution so what to do so don't worry we have discussion forum here and you can filter based on uh, most words hot newest to oldest but i recommend most words so many people have found this useful you can go to these and you will see that some of them provide explanation also that's why they have got highest words people understood their code so these would be very helpful in uh, and uh, you can use it to move ahead and not get stuck on a problem then you should come up with a brute force solution first and then optimize so you have uh, the interview timings are really very limited mostly it's 45 minutes out of that you can think of 5 minute as introduction and qa section you will be asked to introduce yourself and in the end any questions so you will be left with 40 minutes let's say and in that typically interviewer will try to ask you at least two medium problems or one hard problem so uh, if you are straight away thinking that i have a brute force solution n square but i it doesn't look optimum so i want to come up with on but this you are thinking in yourself and you waste lots of time maybe 25 minutes coming up with on solution and you are stuck and you are not even explaining this brute force solution to your interviewer so it's good to explain brute force solution then tell your approach interviewer will, will have idea that you have some solution and then you yourself add that but uh, i think it can be optimized too often maybe the interviewer is not looking for optimized solution it's he is just wanting to see if uh, you can come up with a solution quickly and can you convert your idea code or not maybe this is the intention of the interviewer so maybe he is happy more than happy with the brute force solution and its code so you should not be afraid of that never try to optimize it right from the beginning just discuss with the interviewer and then be consistent so you have to solve a couple of problems each and every day so uh, solving 10 20 problems a day and then taking a long break that kind of thing does not work total number is not that important as is the consistency there is no shortcut for this be consistent solve every day be a programmer so uh, if you follow these tips these are just general guidelines i am pretty sure that you will do well in your interviews over some time so may the force be with you and all the best for your future interviews